Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Learn HTML with Nandu Zardo and today we will continue the text formatting effect tags in HTML and let us start with headings in HTML. You know headings are very important. They present our document very effectively and attractively to the users. In web documents also we need to present our document very effectively and so HTML provides different heading levels to us. That means these heading levels provided by HTML. There are six different heading levels. That six different heading levels present our document very attractively, meaningfully to the cyber surfer. And HTML provided six different heading levels are at the h1 to h6 here the h1 is the largest heading level whereas the h6 is the smallest heading levels all heading level tags are paired remember these all h1 to h6 tags are paired tags that is the container tag and their closing are compulsory these all heading level tags consist a single attribute that is align attribute and this align attribute consists four values that the left, center, right or justify and here remember the left is the default value of align attribute of h1 to h6 heading level ok when you write all h1 to h6 tags together then it display the contents like this one that the heading 1, heading 2, up to heading 6 you see here the heading 1 is the larger one, heading 6 is the smaller one. One more thing you need to remember that there is no need to use any p tag or br tag before or after any heading level of html because each heading level starts at a new line. So these are the heading level. Another tag is font tag. This font tag is used to change the font size, to change the font color and to change the font style. Okay. And this font tag is a paired tag and its closing is compulsory. We will uh, see the attributes of font tag. The first attribute of font tag is a color. It changes the default color of the text to any color of our choice. Especially the default color of the text is black and you can change it to any color of our choice by using this first attribute that is the color. It's another attribute is size. We can control the size of the uh, text of the web document by using this attribute that is the size. And this font size is measured in a unit points. So remember the font size is always measured in a points unit when it is used with a font tag. And in HTML there are limitations to the controlling this size. That means the value for this size attribute is given in between 1 and 7 points. Here remember the value 3 is the default value. The third one is font phase. That is the phase is a third attribute that is the last attribute of font tag and it changes the style of your text. By default maximum web browsers font face is times new roman and suppose you want to change this font style to any style you can uh, use this attribute. But remember the value for this face attribute is any registered font available in our computer. So these are the uh, three major or main attributes of the font tag. Let's see the uh, syntax. The syntax same the font color equal to any color name or color code you can give any value. Second one that the size is given in a uh, number phase you can use any registered font. Clear. Another tag that the p tag and br tag. This p tag stands for paragraph br stands for break tag. This p, p tag is a paired tag but its closing is optional. Its closing is optional. This tag inserts new paragraph on the web page 
and you can use multiple p tag you can use multiple uh, insert multiple paragraphs within the web page and to insert paragraphs multiple paragraph you need to use this multiple p tag this p tag consists of single attribute like a heading level tags that the align attribute and this align attribute align the whole text of that paragraph to left right center or justify here also the default value for this align attribute is left we can see the syntax here that the p there is a single attribute that is the align and you can assign value left right center or justify then the other tag is br tag this tag is a singular tag and it breaks the line and display the contents at new line but it continue the same paragraph okay the syntax of br tag is this one that the just only need to write a br where you want to break the line and display the contents at new line there is a, a difference in between p tag and br tag when you check practically that the difference will be noted in form of line spacing so this p tag and br tag is also used to format our text another tag is the hr tag hr stands for horizontal ruler and this horizontal ruler tag is a singular tag and is mainly used to divide the screen into two horizontal sections these two horizontal sections are not a scrollable sections remember okay it display only a horizontal horizontal line or horizontal ruler to divide our browser window <coughs> we can see the attributes here there are uh, multiple attributes first one that is the color it changes the default color of the horizontal line to any color of our choice and the default color is gray scale you can give any color of our choice by using this attribute that is the color second one that is the size it controls the thickness of the horizontal line you can give the value by using number of pixels you need third one that is the width default width of horizontal line is 100% and you can decrease the width of the horizontal line by using this width attribute and the value is given by using percent unit or you can also use number of pixels you need to define to control the horizontal lines width fourth one is the align attribute you can align this horizontal line horizontally at the left center or right especially the center is the default value here and suppose you want to change this alignment of this horizontal line you can use this align attribute but remember this align attribute is displays as a change when the width of horizontal line is less than 100% then then the last attribute is no shade by default horizontal line is displayed with a 3d effects and suppose you want to remove this 3d effects suppose you want to remove the shadow of that horizontal line you can use this attribute that is the no shade attribute and this no shade attribute displays plain horizontal line instead of 3d line this one is the syntax of the uh, hr tag that the hr color hr size its width align and no shade or another tag that is the next one important one that the popular one this one is the marquee tag and this marquee tag scroll the text scroll the text from the given direction this tag is a paired tag and its closing is compulsory we will see the attributes of marquee tag the first attribute of marquee tag is behavior it's very important and this behavior attribute consists three values first one that is the scroll this one is the default value of the behavior second one that is the slide and third one that is the alternate this is scroll value scroll the text continuously from the given direction that is the scroll second one that is the slide value this slide value 
move the text only once as per its name the, that the slide it move the text only once as per the given direction and the third one that the alternate this alternate value move the text from the given direction and bounce it back within the left and right margin of the mark cube box continuously or as per the loop value the another attribute is direction it give direction and the value for this direction or direction attribute is left or right and up or down where the left is the default value of the direction attribute the third one that is the loop it defines how many times you want to move this mark you text it decides so the value is given by using numbers only here minus 1 or infinite move the text move the contents of this mark you continuously forever another one that is the scroll amount it defines the how many pixels far to jump that means when the mark you move from the given direction at that time he jump from one point to another point that the distance between this one jump to another jump is defined by using this scroll amount attribute and the value is given in pixel unit the default value for this scroll amount attribute is a six pixel that means the mark you takes move from one point to another point that the six pixels so it is used to control the speed of the mark you another one related to control the speed that is the scroll delay it indicates how many second pause between each jump that means when the text which are placed in between mark q opening and mark q closing tag it jumps from one point to another point when the uh, when he start to jump next time at that time they wait the pause for a few millisecond that few millisecond pause will be defined by using this scroll delay attribute the default at attributes value that the scroll delay attribute value is 85 milliseconds and remember you can assign a value uh, in between or from especially from 60 second to any that means it was for 85 milliseconds in between two jumps it controls the speed of the mark you move this one is the scroll delay third one is the height it controls the height of the mark you box and the default height of the mark you box is 100 percent that means 100 percent according to the font size of the mark you text content okay so height the value is given by using percent unit also as well as you can define it by using number of pixels next one that is the width this width controls the width of the mark your box default width is 100 percent so you can use this attribute to control especially to decrease the width of the mark your box value is given especially when you want to apply any width related uh, attributes at that time the priority is given to the percent unit you, here you can also use number of pixels you need as a value of width another one that is the bg color this apply background color to the mark you box by default there is no any background color to the mark you box and this attribute assigns any color of our choice as a background color of the mark you box or another one we will see first the mark you uh, syntax here remember the behavior loop direction scroll amount scroll delay height width physical these all attributes already we discussed here the remaining to here that the h space and v space h space means horizontal space v space means vertical space that means both h space and v space controls the spacing surrounding the mark you box where especially horizontal spacing controls the margin in between uh, mark you box and left side contents and right side contents of the mark you box v space controls the extra margins at the top and bottom of the mark you box that means h space and v space controls the uh, margin 
in between the marquee box and surrounding text so this one is the marquee tag other on other tag that is the body tag this body tag is one of the basic elements of html you know and uh, all the actual contents which you want to display as a output are placed within this body tag this body tag uh, is a pair tag and its closing is compulsory we we'll see the attributes of body tag here the first one that the bg color this bg color attribute specifies the background color of the web page by default the displayed background color of any web browser is a white color and suppose you want to change uh, this white color to any color of our choice you can use this attribute that is the bg color the second one that is the background this background attribute is also uh, related to the background of the web page and here by using this attribute you can apply any standard image as a background image of the web page this background image will be displayed as a tiled background or a tilde background that means the number of images will be displayed as a background and that number of images is depend on the image size okay this is the second one third one that is the text it changes the whole body text color to any color here the default text is you know that the black color and suppose you want to change this black color of the text to any color of the text this text attribute is used and it apply the text color as per our requirement but remember uh, hypertext colors will not be changed by using this text attribute fourth one that is the link color in web page we ins insert multiple links that uh, link displayed in the web page is color is a blue color with a underline effect okay suppose you want to change this default blue color of this default hypertext then you can use this attribute that is a link attribute a link means active link the another attribute it changes the active link color and this active link color the default active link color is uh, different in a web browser that is depend on the web browser especially our uh, uh, microsoft edge or um, uh, mozilla firefox is uh, displays the a link color as a purple color as a default color but our google chrome displays this a link color as a red color as a default and suppose you want to change this active link color at that time you can use this a link attribute the another one that is the v link that is the visited link once we visit the link after clicking on that hypertext and when you come back then the default color that is the blue one is changed to purple that means the default visited link text color is a purple and suppose you want to change this visited link color to purple to any other you can use this v link attribute of body tag seventh one that the last one that is the align it changes the whole alignment of the contents of the web pages and the values for this align attribute is left right center or justify okay the default one you know that is the left this one is the body tag so thank you students for watching my video today we will complete all formatting effect tags other formatting effect tags so our next video in our this video series will be tables on a web page after that we will check the images so continuously we will complete all the objects or facilities provided by html so keep watching keep learning stay with me thank you